NBA young boy pleads guilty in weapons case. NBA young boy is entering a guilty plea deal for his federal weapons case with the hopes of having the courts transfer the matter from Baton Rouge to Utah. I ain't gonna lie. God damn. This incident stems from a music video involving a rapper whose real name is Kentrell Golden, which was shot in Baton Rouge in 2020. Golden is charged with a count of possession of firearms by a convicted felon. Now, if y'all don't know how this little story go, you know, young boy was shooting a music video. There were, um, I guess, complaints made by people, you know, in the area saying that guns were involved. People were waving guns and shit. And so police arrived. They made, you know, I guess they were detaining motherfuckers. And while they were detaining motherfuckers, they went through that footage. They went through that camera. Now, did they have a warrant to do so? Fuck no. They didn't. They didn't. But here's the thing. Um, <sighs> initial reports say young boy was in possession of a 9mm handgun as well as a 45 caliber Glock. One part of the case was dismissed in March having to do with a felony possession of an unregistered firearm. Right? Okay. An unregistered firearm. So the firearm was indeed registered, I guess. Goddard's attorney Drew Finling, Findling, Findling, filed the pipe paperwork earlier this week to have the case transferred. The rapper's first charge and felony status comes from his involvement in a 2016 shootout in which he has since been barred from possessing firearms. And when they went through that footage, they saw him holding a goddamn gun. And they said, oh, no, we got to arrest your bitch ass. Transferring the case to Utah would streamline the charges guarding is facing involving his involvement in a pill scam. I don't know about that damn pill scam. Young boy was pretending to be a doctor trying to call in uh, pills for other people and shit. Uh, yeah. That's a true story. The rapper is allegedly linked to what the press is calling a large-scale prescription drug fraud ring that targeted several pharmacies across Utah. You know what? Uh, and this all happened while he's on house arrest for the weapons case. So it's just like, bro, you mean to tell me you that fucking bored? You on house arrest? You can't do anything else except commit crimes? What the fuck? What, 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 what? what? Double XL reports, young boy is accused of pos uh, posing as a medical professional by contacting pharmacies and requesting prescriptions using the genuine names and birth dates of a suspecting victims. Sub subsequently, his associates would allegedly collect the prescribed medications from neighboring pharmacies. So... As you say, as you see, young boy was called pretending to be a fucking doctor. The shit went so bad. He got caught. And the thing is, um, if y'all are not like hip, your information is not always safe. Your social security number, your bank information, your cards and shit, your, your, your email information, where you live and shit. All that shit is not safe. It's not. It's not safe. So what people do is they go on the fucking dark web and they go on the dark web and they buy this information where it's illegally sold, but it's on the dark web. So pretty much it's like anything flies on when you're in the fucking dark web. So it's like that alone, that alone, you would have to purchase the name, social security information and, you know, private details of a person. In order to be able to call in a prescription for that person without them knowing. For somebody, a part of your posse as well, to pick up the fucking drugs. It's all, it, 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 it's a, it, it's, what the fuck? That, that's, that's like some GTA shit. That's like a fucking GTA mission. 
The rapper already appeared before a Utah judge via a WebEx video conference on July 22nd. Because Garden's lawyer was late, arraignment was pushed to August 19th. Today is August 19th.